Well, there's been quite a few nonsense events over the past two weeks that have caught my eye and they all reek of secret society nonsense. What's more irritating is that I haven't been able to tan one day this July. It's either raining or cloudy, coincidentally in peak UV at the perfect time of the year. I wonder why they don't want anyone getting vitamin D. You know, I bet the Hamptons are nice and sunny uh, where all the rich people are. One thing I didn't plan on mentioning was the building that collapsed in Miami a month ago. I just get so disgusted when I see such BS on the news. One thing for certain is that buildings don't collapse like dominoes without metric tons of explosives. You know, quick way to save a few dozen million on a new development, demolition costs, years and years of time in prime real estate. News stories every single day that the public just takes for granted. And I feel like I speak about this climate nonsense every week now, and I'll probably do it until YouTube starts not allowing it, putting it somewhere in their guidelines that, oh, climate change is real and factual and you can't talk against it. The European floods a few weeks ago, tying in with the rain in Dubai especially. You know, just yesterday, I saw this fear-mongering bullshit. 14,000 scientists warn of untold suffering if we fail to act on climate change. Destruction and debris on every corner. The only sound on the streets, mud being scraped away. And tractors rumbling through the once picturesque town of Arvila. Here in Arvila, the water has subsided and it's only now that the real true extent of the damage caused by the floods is really coming to light. A lot of people are returning to their homes for the first time since the floods. The scenes are devastating for those returning. But it looks like the environment is being, um, the global warming, I should say, is being attributed as a cause of the flood or contributing by almost all of the politicians in Germany. And now we're going to do a, a deep dive with Davo. Dubai, Dubai mm -hmm. is making it rain in a sweltering desert by zapping clouds with electricity using drones. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, if anything is in the news on that large of a scale, they want you thinking you're doing something. There's an agenda behind it. The climate stuff is obvious. They want to enact laws and policies to gain more control over people if you know, people even had any freedom left. But the truth is hidden in plain sight. By saying they use energy to create rainfall in Dubai, they admit two things, that weather is controlled by energy and that the government has the capability to use technology to control that weather. It does not get more obvious than this. Whether it's an earthquake or a flood, these psychopaths can cause it. And you bet they are. And then there's more fake bullshit with these cyber attacks. I actually wanted to make a video explaining that hackers aren't real in a sense that there is no rogue person that can't be found by the government. All internet services and access is provided and controlled by the government, by these elites, by these people. So regardless of location or how you're accessing the internet, the government knows where you are. There's no mysterious hackers. Cuba turning off the internet two weeks ago is a comical example to support this. <laughs> They're showing you they control it. It would be impossible for a hacker to hide. So when we hear these stories, Russian hackers performing cyber attacks, it's just a completely made up story to cover up an intentional collapse. And one of the main things in their saying is Ordo Ab Cal, Order from Chaos. We spoke about this a couple months ago, but they create the chaos and it's not working. People are kind of staying calm so far. The cyber polygon drill, ready to prepare us for the cyber pandemic, is just more nonsense predictive programming for when the CIA tells Con Edison to shut off your power, tells Verizon to shut off your internet and block your service. Go figure. Good luck getting people to believe that. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. I just felt like covering these stories. They've been you know, in my head for the past few weeks. And uh, you know, I don't want to wait any longer. It's already been two weeks. If you could please drop a like on the video Leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that bell icon so YouTube doesn't 
notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank-defano.com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.